Hello and welcome to another Life in Permanent Shackles uh, video. Um, this is uh, me changing my rivets in these shackles. These sh shackles have been permanently locked around my ankles for 43 days uh, at this point. I don't know if you can see on the uh, sole of my foot there, it's kind of hard to see through the dirt and at that angle. Um, but um, I've signed a, a new contract that's very aggressive and it requires me to remain shackled for a hundred days minimum. If I violate any rules of this contract or, or not meet any of the requirements, then that is extended and it could be extended for several years. That's how, how severe this, this contract is. It's very serious. Um, so there's that. This is part of the new contract requirement. Um, the, uh, third party that uh, yeah, that I signed this contract with uh, wanted me to put in RFID enabled rivets. These are supposedly rivets that um, have RFID tags built into them so that when you scan them you see um, a code. And the, the idea was is that um, this would make sure that I couldn't just um, order a power drill off Amazon, drill out the uh, uh, rivets after my uh, uh, inspection, and then um, put them back in before inspection so that I'm free in between inspections. Um, this way, the RFID would be a unique uh, identifier for these shack or for the, those rivets, and I couldn't replace them. Um, unfortunately, the, the information that he got was incorrect. Um, the, uh, the, the rivets that he ordered were just used to attach an RFID tag. It wasn't, they weren't designed with RFID built into them. Um, but nevertheless, he wanted to, uh, have me put these new ones in. They fit better. The previous, uh, rivets I, I had to cut. If you watch my original video, um, you'll see that I had to cut the rivets to make them fit in the spot. Um, and these ones, these new ones fit right in the slot, so no problems there. I had to perform this on video, and he's witnessing it. He's actually behind the camera, so he is watching me do this right now to make sure that they're put on properly. Um, as you can see, I'm having a lot of trouble getting the shackle off. I don't know if I mentioned this before. Actually, I know I mentioned it. You may not have heard it, though. Um, these are steel rivets, and they do not want to come out. I mean, they've been holding these shackles around my ankles for 43 days. Well, 40 days. I was uh, bolted for the first three days. Um, and they do not want to let go. And you can see here how, how hard they are to get out. Um, they aren't messing around. I had to change bits to uh, drill a little bit better. Um, it's just, it's messed up. And I really, I wasn't supposed to remove the shackle, but there's no way I was going to get that off without, you know, really messing with it. So... There you go. I've been unshackled for one ankle has been unshackled for a short period of time um, to get those those rivets out because I can't put the new rivets in until the old ones are out. So with the larger drill bit, I moved to the other ankle. This one goes better because I started with the larger drill bit. The other one was just too small. Um, this one goes through and you know, it's not easy, but it it works a lot better than the last one you'll see here. And uh, there we go, all the way off. As you can see, I'm leaving the shackle on. The shackle is not a move, removed. I did have one free ankle for a short period here to get that other rivet out. But um, as you can see here, the shackle is not coming off this ankle. I've just removed the, the, um, the rivet and I'm going to set up right now and put in the new rivet. While we wait for me to set up with the rivet, the tool to put rivets in, just going to go back um, again and talk about why I'm doing this. I'm a filmmaker. Originally, I was going to be making a movie about a prisoner who's kept barefoot, permanently shackled, and locked in a prison cell for the rest of his life. I wanted to know what it was like to be permanently shackled. I'm always barefoot, so that really had no bearing. And I am imprisoned in my house right now since I can't leave with shackled bare feet. Um, so the um, shackles I'm wearing now... Um, I've signed a new contract for a hundred days minimum. Um, if I break anything, I, they stay on and they could be, they could be left on for years depending on what rule I break. So it's very, very strict, uh, very strict, uh, uh, contract. 
So anyway, as you can see here, the new uh, the new rivet it is, is in, and it is secure. It's not coming out. Um, and these ri these rivets sink down into the um, the part where the bolt usually goes. So they uh, they're actually just a teeny bit loose uh, as far as uh, they they uh, are very secure. They they won't come out, but because they go in so far into the little uh, indentation where the bolt usually goes. There is a little bit of give, um, so there's a little bit of space between where the shackles connect, and um, but they are they are not coming off at all. Um, and here I go with the uh, other shackle. Uh, note that my my ankle was unshackled for I think a total of maybe thirty seconds to to a minute. Um, that the uh, rivet just didn't want did not want to come out. And you'll see here um, that I'm going to be. Uh, uh, putting it in there we go finally I got that rivet out I mean <laughs> just to just to show how hard it is to get these out that that was really an ordeal um, so now moving on I have to make sure these shackles are on right because these uh these chains don't have like a, a swivel so I have to make sure that the chains are straight all the way across or they're gonna be like that permanently um, I'm just double checking right now actually <laughs> I'm wearing the chains now, as you can hear. Um, I just wanted to double check, but I did check it before I put them on. And you'll see me doing that here, just to make sure that the chain is all straight. So it looks like I got it right. And here we go. Um, the free ankle is gonna be reshackled. Um, and they will be shackled with these new rivets for a minimum of 57 days. I have to say a minimum because there's a lot of stipulations that I have to fulfill in order to uh, make my contract. And if I mess up even the smallest thing, um, I'm going to have a minimum of 30 days added to my 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 in, uh, ah, my shackling. Um, a minimum of 30 days for the the minor the the least uh, violation is 30 days and if I violate let's say for instance I uh, do violate this and I do drill out the uh, the uh, rivets um, that is a two-year sentence if I if I drill these out and free myself before I'm allowed um, I have to wear them for two years and that's permanent um, for two straight years um, that's part of the new contract um, and if I violate this contract, I'm basically bankrupt. It's I made sure that the contract could not be broken. And if it is, that's basically I'm financially ruined. So there's no way I can break this contract. Um, absolutely not. Um, these are staying on as long as the contract says that they have to be on. And not a day sooner do they come off. Um, as you can see, the new ones, I, I like the way these fit down in the hole. You can see they look a lot better. They do stick out on the backside a little bit more. Um, you'll see in just a minute when I turn it around. Um, as you can see, the other head down there, I had to cut it to make it fit. Um, they're a lot larger. Um, these ones, they, they're a lot cleaner, especially on the front. Um, they do stick out the other side a little bit more, um, but they're, they're good. I, they're going to work out just fine. As you can see there, they don't stick out that bad. Just a little bit more than the other ones did. But that's it for this video. I'm um, re-riveted and ready to go 57 more days.